Hi everyone, this is Saskia from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I would like to show you guys my yard and also all the stuff that grows inside of it because that's the most fascinating thing for me. I'm just looking at the yard and I know there's so much food here for me but also for the piggies. So I love foraging food. I love to go around and identify certain weeds and you know figure out what it is and if I can eat it and how to cook it etc. And I really like that because if I can eat it, the guinea pigs can eat it as well. So that's just super cool and it gives them a whole you know, new host of things that they can eat and uh, keeps their food interesting as well for them, you know. So I want to walk around and just show you what I'm finding and see if you know if you have it maybe growing in Europe where you live. Um, this is of course Southern California so this, it's going to be different from what you actually grow uh, or have in the living in the wild, I guess. Uh, I was in Europe um, about a month ago or so and I just went crazy with all this green stuff. There was so much green everywhere and I loved it. Um, and I just went around identifying everything and oh my gosh, I can eat this and then I had no guinea pigs to give it to. It was really frustrating. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go walk around and let's go and see what I've got. So this is a patch right by my house that I like to use to grow all kinds of stuff. And I will show you what's here and what is for the piggies and what is not. So this of course is tomato. So they can eat the tomato but not the plant. And if we go here, let's take a peek. So this is actually grass. This is awesome food for guinea pigs. So any grass, they love grass. And it's the closest thing you can possibly get to their natural diet, which is just plain grass. So I love it, they love it, and it's super free and cheap, and you can find it everywhere, basically. Um, so that's why I'm growing this, actually, for the guinea pigs. It looks like, man, this lady doesn't know about gardening, but uh, <laughs> you're supposed to kill the weeds, but nope, not me. I am growing it for the piggies. And the same with this thing here. This, you see these all over California, and uh, the, this is a fountain grass and they have these little fuzzy things at the end that I actually really like taking. See, I just pull and it comes out. And they won't eat the fuzzy part, but they'll eat all the rest of it. They love this part of it. And actually, and the blades itself as well. They love, love, love it. So let me grab a little bit and then we can feed it to them in a little bit as well and show you. Okay, so grass what else we got in here oh okay here we have purslane now this purslane is not looking so good because it's kind of at the end of the season for the purslane but this stuff people can eat as well in fact I come from Holland and we grew up eating purslane now right next to purslane which always grows together a lot of the time is spurge this stuff it's a really interesting little weed like really one very short or sorry long skinny root with lots of greenery on the top and if you pinch it you will see there's a white stuff latex they call it coming out and that is not good for people or guinea pigs do not feed that but the purslane that's good eating that is super good eating. Now there's a few things that I grow here that are not wild. But this is one of the things I like to grow. This is collard green. Guinea pigs love that as well. Very good, very healthy for them. This is the seeds that actually start growing after a little while. It's summer so it bolted of course. And the, these are the seed pods. But normally these leaves are really big, huge and big. But in the summer, as I've just realized, because this is the first summer, the leaves are very small and nice and juicy and the piggies like them even more. So that's awesome. Okay, okay. So what do we have here? Here we've got more of the spurge, as you can see. That stuff, it's also called sand mat. It, it just sometimes covers the whole area. This is I'm growing, that's kale. This is what I'm, I've only got two plants and it's doing really well. Now next to it, this is borage. B-O-R-A-G-E. 
borage borage now this is really kind of and you feel it it's got little hairs on it and when it grows it, it becomes really tall and big and it has a purple little purple flowers on it and the, everything on this plant is actually edible though people usually only eat the little flowers but I fed this to the guinea pigs and they went crazy for it I'm like how is that tasty <laughs> And even the big stalks, they were like this big almost uh, and, and really thick and kind of hollow in the inside though. But they got really kind of all these little hairs. They got lots of it on the side and they just loved it. They just gobbled it up. So let's see what else we have. Let's walk around. Well, these are my, this is my bean and this is, uh, gosh, she's not doing so good. It's uh, some kind of squash. And then, of course, the tomatoes. And, oh, here we are. Look. <clears throat> These I'm growing as well on purpose. This is a thistle. Biggies love every single piece of it. And these also, see if you, when you, um, it's like a dandelion. It's the family of dandelion. They also get this white stuff, as you can see, when you pluck it. And it's very bitter. If you put it in your mouth and your tongue, you'll notice. Because I try everything before I feed it to the pigs. <laughs> and, uh, oh my gosh, do they love this stuff. They love it. This is a young one, see that? Oof. And I try not to take the whole root. I just take the tops so that the rest can grow again and I can forage again I can harvest it again so let's go to another patch and let's walk around the yard and see what we find so this looks like a bunch of weed which it is but this stuff actually if you look closer you will see that this is mint and I grew this from just a few sprigs and it just grows like weed. What do you know? And some guinea pigs love this stuff. And the others do not like it. They smell it and they run, seriously, they literally run away from it. Like you just, you know, poke them or something. But my guinea pigs, my boys love this stuff. They go crazy for it. So I'm going to show you how crazy they go for it in a little bit these cute little flowers here that is reddish normal common reddish and these are the little flowers that turn into these beautiful seed pods and then I can plant it again and give the guinea pigs the leaves they love reddish leaves the greens of the reddish that is a nice treat for them so I've got a whole bunch here and I'm gonna just snag another one and I'm gonna feed that to the piggies. So I've got a few of these because in the winter it grows really fast. Love reddish, 30 days and there's a reddish. This pot here has, this is some kind of a spinach. We call it, it's called um, Asian spinach, New Zealand spinach. And I actually cook it like a spinach just with a little garlic and saute it. And guinea pigs love it too. But this one is not very nice looking. I wanna show you the nice looking one next door that Louise grows where the horses are. And as promised, I'm going to show you Louise's patch. It's growing right here by this big, beautiful pine tree. Like big, beautiful pine tree. And what I like to do here is I pick the, the biggest leaves, the biggest ones, and I don't take the whole plant out. I just pluck the leaves and some piggies love it, others are not that keen on it, but most guinea pigs love this stuff. And he's got such a beautiful patch growing here. He's got the green fingers, I don't. And we're lucky the chickens don't jump up, they haven't figured it out yet, because otherwise this would not be here. They love it, the chickens. And then here, this just keeps popping up, this stuff. <laughs> this 
I love it. It's amazing. It's amaranth. And these teeny little seeds appear when it's done kind of seeding. And I just cut it off. See that? Cut the top off and then we'll wait for new, new stuff to grow. And look at this one. Again, this is that grass I just showed you, the fountain grass. That stuff just gets hooks up everywhere and just, you know, these little seeds, they fly. And then over here, we have more borage. Look at this beautiful. This is actually reddish that is not really growing into a reddish. It's kind of sickly looking. But this is the borage I was talking about. This gets these beautiful flowers, these purple little flowers. And they love it. So, in fact, I can just snag one leaf. One leaf. Oh, that's not a very nice looking one. Okay, let's snag another one. I'm sorry, plant. I'm sorry. Okay. And let's go investigate. Let's investigate this. And here's the backyard, by the way. And there are the pigs. The actual piggies. It's Peppy. Right there. All right. So more fountain grass right here. And there is more amaranth here. Like a whole bunches of them. They just grow. And that is also some type of squash. And then there's this one. And I believe this is horse weed, which is toxic for horses. So we don't feed it, but the pigs love it. Not the guinea pigs, I'm sorry. The farm pigs, the big, big, big pigs love it. Now here's a nice example of some really nice growing purslane, actually. You can see, I'm going to grab some of the purslane, the nice green part, to give to the piggies as well. Oh, you know what? I was mistaken. Oh no, it is the same. Goodness, this is the same. Yeah, this is that horse weed again with a younger plant. This keeps coming back too. And this is sorghum. This is an older, this is one from last year that's still here actually, but these leaves, they love it. They love the sorghum leaves. So let me grab that as well. More of the fountain grass, more of the horseweed, and I don't believe there's much edible here. No, nope. there's another amaranth, and let's see, because here is also, look at this one, I've been watering it. It's just really a weed. There. Let's feed this to the piggies. Everything that we've discovered. And here's another example of a patch that I've kind of, you know, just let be. There is some, some mint. And then here is another thistle that we're gonna snag. And again, I'm not cutting, taking the whole thing. I wanna, I wanna make sure that it's gonna grow again. So don't take out the root. Here is another borage that just grew there. And then all these little kind of dandelion looking. And they also have this little white stuff coming out. Those are all great. Piggies love those as well. And then look at these clovers. These clovers are beautiful. Look at that. They're gonna certainly have lots of on with those because they love this grass and clovers and the best stuff and it's again it's free it's free you just go clover hunting and dandelion hunting and oh my gosh look how big this one is it's huge I feel bad taking it I'm sorry <laughs> And I guess we kind of covered it all. Another beautiful 
dandelions I plant. All right, so now, okay, let's now really go and feed them. <laughs> okay, they had dinner. They're not gonna be hungry. You guys didn't eat all your dinner. But we'll see, because I have a feeling that these kids here are gonna have a little space left. Yeah. Hi, Podrick. Hi, my love. Come here. Hi. Come say hi. Hi, Casanova. Bamba. Where's Trisket? Trisket. Trisket. Come say hi, Trisket. Okay. I got lots of stuff. Let's put it on my desk. Let's see. I'm going to try it. We're going to try it. Then the line. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that's a yes. This one, the sorghum, the sorghum greens. No, no, let me wake up. You're missing the fun, buddy. Come on. Come on, you're missing the fun. No, tree's good. Why are you being camera shy all of a sudden? Come on, little guy. Go eat snacks. I'm gonna eat snacks. Come on. There, see? That one is a definite hit, as you can see. So let's try the clovers. What? No? I don't even know. It's down there. Yeah. Okay, what else we got? I've got mint. Got some of the mint. Got more clover. Got some of the collard green just to show you. And where is my reddish green? Oh no. I left it? No. Oh shoot. Oh well. Let's uh, try to purse lane. Yeah. It's always a hit or a miss with this one. Some days they love it, other days not so much. No? Okay, we'll find someone who does. You're all on great ball. Yes, you are. What about you, Daryl? Herschel, yes. Oh, yes, all right. Then you can have it. Color green. Young color green. Yay, good job, guys. Oh, I do have it, my reddish leaf. Okay, let's, let's do this, let's do this. Ooh, reddish leaf, anyone? Yeah, good stuff, huh? So what do you prefer, reddish leaf or color green? This one or that one? Ooh, okay then. And you guys are chowing away on that color green as well. Now, this is their favorite. Let's see if they actually switch over to that. Yes, it's mint. They love it so much. And if the stalk is soft enough still, it's a young stalk, they'll eat the whole thing. Good boy, Casanova. My good boy. He's like, man, you know what I'm eating? Can you just leave me alone for a minute? What about you, old man? Brisket, good boy. Hey, Bamba. So there, foraging and stuff that grows in the yard. So go and look, and even if you don't live in, you know, if you live in a city and you don't have a yard, you can still go out to the local park and just find stuff. 
You know? And usually people say, well, I don't know if it's being treated or not. Well, if it's being treated, then more than likely it wasn't, it's not growing there because it will die right away after they put stuff on it. Um, so that's always a good indication if it grows there and all other stuff grows around it, then you're pretty sure that it's not being treated. Can you say goodbye, Casanova? Oh, great, thank you. All right, boys, enjoy your snack. You're gonna have minty fresh breath. <laughs>